Let's explore how digital devices represent and process images, text and sound. Images are a staple in our digital experience, from photos on websites to icons on apps. But what exactly makes up a digital image? Imagine a picture of a frog. It looks clear and detailed, but when we zoom in, we see it's made up of tiny squares. These squares are called pixels, short for picture elements. Each pixel represents a small part of the image. For instance, an image with a resolution of 100 pixels by 100 pixels contains 10,000 pixels. These pixels determine the quality and detail of the image. When looking at pencil code or scratch, you can move the characters on the screen. Sometimes these instructions are referred to as taking steps, but they are often referring to how many pixels to move. In this example, we ask the character to move 100 pixels forward. Computers transfer text using encoding techniques. It forms the basis of digital communication and data storage in computers. Text is encoded and decoded using the ASCII system. This is the American standard for information interchange. Each character, whether it's a letter, a number or a symbol, is assigned a unique binary code. The computer knows how to interpret the binary code because of the context, and this is where the data was sent. Encoding techniques have been used for centuries. Some examples include Morse code and the Braille system. Steganography is also an encoding technique that has been used for centuries that involves hiding secret messages in non-secret items such as paintings and paper. Today it can be used to hide messages within digital data like images, audio files or text. This can be done by altering the least significant bits of pixels or modifying the frequency components of audio files. To decode the hidden message, the recipient must know the method to reverse the process and extract the hidden message from the carrier data. This technique is often used in cryptography to enhance security and confidentiality of information. Sound in the digital form is quite different from how we naturally perceive it. To make digital data, an analog file is converted into a stream of numbers and the numbers are recorded instead of the wave. This process is referred to as analog to digital conversion or ADC. To play the music back, it converts the numbers back into analog waves by digital to analog conversion and the analog waves come through the outputs, such as your speakers. Unless there is some kind of corruption in the file, it should play the same sound every time. While CDs were a popular medium for storing and playing back music, their usage has declined with the rise of digital files and streaming services. Modern music consumption often involves downloading or streaming audio files from the internet. These files are stored on various digital storage media like hard drives, solid state drives or cloud services. Computer scientists can train AI models to recognize sounds by analyzing the characteristics of different audio files. The AI model is trained on large data sets of sound samples and it learns to analyze and find patterns such as frequency. This AI technique is used to help you identify bird sounds in nature with an app, to recognize your voice with a virtual assistant, and to tell you the name of your favorite song using an app. 